Hello everyone, it's Robin Wood, and I have something serious to talk about, so that's why I'm kind of dressed professional in front of this bookcase and everything, because I really have something that's bugging me. A situation that came up that I have to share. I cannot keep this to myself. It has enraged me. This is just the filth of the earth. This is the scum of the BDSM fetish and kink community. I'm sorry that I am so angry today. I am a happy person normally, but this is just too much. This is too much. This right here is some court documents, some questions that was asked of somebody to answer during a divorce. And every state law is different, but if you know, uh, if you have been through the process, you know that you are required to um, answer the questions that One are given to you. of the questions that was asked of somebody in the cuckolding and hot wifing lifestyle was this. Please state the names and contact information of any individual whom you have been in a romantic and or sexual relationship with since the date of your marriage, stating the dates of each relationship. Another question. Please describe in detail since the beginning of your marriage, including but not limited to dates of visit where you stayed any individual that you spent more than 36 hours with while married. This right here is the fucking scum of the earth. I would never ask that of my partner if it was something them and I were engaging in together. Because you know that this judge, who in this particular case, this judge is a older white male probably vanilla, probably does not have the slightest idea of what cuckolding is, BDSM, fetish, kink, community, lifestyle, anything like that. And so you know that if this person were to bring up, oh yes, my husband and I engaged in sexual activities where he would dress me, he would find this mate for me, he would arrange the date, Sometimes the time, places where we would go, he would film us, he would text me after, we would talk about um, my sexual encounters, he would watch, he would um, even shave my vagina before the date. I mean, this is outrageous that somebody would have the audacity to bring this up during a court hearing. There's people that can be expert witnesses if there is like a custody battle, for example, and um, your ex-partner is trying to say, well, this person's involved in BDSM and they're sadistic or they like to beat other people and they have bruises all over their body. They can use that against you in court to try to get custody of the children or, or whatever that they're looking for. I'm presenting this issue to you guys because I am outraged by this that somebody who you engaged in this activity with is now using the same exact thing against you in the court of law. So I wanna hear from you, what would you do if you were in this person's shoes? Would you ever bring something like this up um, in the court of law? And how would you handle a situation like this? So please let me know, email me, call me, or message below, what should this person do? What would you do in this particular situation? Do you have any resources for them? Email me, call me. Even if you're dealing with something like this, let's talk through it because I understand it's probably the most stressful event.